welcome back. Nice to see you again. So my special guest this week is the gorgeous Louise Saunders. Louise started her passion for working with the mind and our beliefs as well as the physical body when she became a chiropractor. Now, wanting to learn more, she traveled to the US to learn a unique and powerful yet gentle approach to working with her chiropractic clients. When she returned to the UK and set up her own practice, this technique revolutionized how she practiced and the results she saw with her clients. And she saw the incredible power in working with the mind as well as the physical body. Now, after exploring Bruce Lipton's research in the new science of epigenet epigenetics, easy for me to say, <laughs> alongside Joe Dispenza's findings from the fields of neuroscience and quantum physics, Louise chose to become a Psych K facilitator. Now, Louise has likened Psych K to the missing piece in her life that has transformed the way that she now works with her clients. She's very kindly agreed to chat with me today about her journey, about a bit more about what Psych K is and why it is so effective. So Louise, thank you so much for coming on. It's so good to see you. It's really good to see you. Thank you. Claire, how are you on today? Really oh, pleasure, you. pleasure. I do like a chat. <laughs> <laughs> so Louise Love, just tell us a little bit about your background. So yes, um, I have almost been a chiropractor for 20 years and as you say, I had the opportunity to go and over to the Caribbean and live for a bit and then as a newlyweds, which was quite exciting over there. And then that took me on to doing that work that you talked about over in the States, which was great because when I came back and set up my practice here in the UK, it was a really unique way to practice and be able to access you know, uh, the client's wisdom to see what really was going on for them and why they weren't really, um, why they were experiencing the health challenges they were. And not just in the physical sense, but also in, you know, in the emotional sense as well, what was really going on in the mind. And it was really when um, we really started transforming how they were feeling about things that were challenging them, whether that's currently or in the past or the future, that I really saw um, the changes with, with what was going on for them. And that was really... That was great to be able to support you in that oh, way. Fantastic, fantastic. Because I think a lot of people are now beginning to realise there's a really big connection between the mind and the body and the body and the mind. And uh, I think people are starting to get that now. So this is a really interesting area. So you're both a chiropractor and a Psych K facilitator. So just tell us a little bit about what got you into chiropractic and then what led you into Psych K a little bit more. Yeah, so actually it was, um, I always wanted to be able to help people. I know that sounds, might sound quite cliche, but I love working with, with people to really um, empower them and for, the, for them to shine and, and to reach their potential. And um, I guess I was quite lucky that my father saw something in me and she said, what do you, you know, what do you think about chiropractic? And that really started on my journey for sure. Um, and it was actually in my last year at chiropractic college that he sadly passed away. But I think that also gave me um, so much strength and to really look within to try and understand and as I felt that he understood me so well to really look at um, understanding myself better um, mm. as well and that's where I really feel that Psyche has been able to offer myself personally whereas I've loved working with others through chiropractic I, I can't access my um, some of the work that I do with others in quite the same way for myself so um, in that way, um, Psych K has really been, um, has really given me a lot of inner peace about a lot of things. Um, and yeah, so that's something I really love to be able to support other people to do as well when I've seen the benefits that it's you know, brought yeah. to my life, shall we say. Yeah. So how did you find out about Psych K? Where did that... Well, um, yeah, it was a great question. So. Um, Bruce Lipton talks a lot about it in his book, although when I went to hear him, I don't think I was really quite ready for that experience. My, it, the time wasn't quite right. That was back in 2005. And it was actually a family member who was a client and I was doing a lot of the work, this, the chiropractic work that I do with him. And he was like, I think so. I can be a really great fit. Really. And um, anyway, I, ha I did a session over the phone. My husband and I both did a session over the phone with somebody else who 
um, facilitates by like in, 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 uh, in the UK. And the results were immediate and powerful. It was, it was incredible. And that really, I was like, right, I really want to find out more about this. And, um, and then took all the workshops in the UK back in 2016. And um, yeah, the rest, the last four years, it's, it's been brilliant to be able to um, you know, do more of this work and with clients here at the practice, but also during these times that we're in currently at the moment, a lot of it can be done really powerfully um, through this, through Zoom and through other, you know, other avenues as well. Yeah, brilliant. You know, support people, you know, in the Middle East or the States. And that's been amazing to be able to offer that to them too. At the time, so. Fantastic. So I'd imagine there's quite a few people watching who are thinking, what is Psych K? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> never heard of it. What is it? Yeah. Are you going to tell us a little bit more about what Psych K Absolutely. is? Absolutely. So Psych K is a really simple and powerful way to transform our beliefs in the subconscious mind, which, and our subconscious mind is where all we, where we have all our behavior. Um, and so it's really about being able to create a whole brain state, which is a really powerful way where we are being able to have access to our left and right brains together that can, we can really transform some of those patterns, those deeply ingrained patterns that we see in these cycles. Like, you know, I'm not good enough or it's not safe to create change in my life. All those things that we hold to be true about ourselves. Um, we can transform those limiting beliefs into something really supportive instead in a really simple, easy way. And the beauty about it is we don't have to have a heart to heart and sob story or an analyze went on when I was seven years old, or it's just a really beautiful way and a solution to be able to, you know, how do you want to feel instead? And so to really create a solution um, mm. to a problem or any challenges or, you know, any, anything ultimately in life that we want to create change with, whether that's mm. you know, our work, our behavior, um, relationships with others, but ultimately, and you must get this again with the work that you're doing in this, in this realm as well, often it falls down to often the way we really feel about ourselves in all of those situations that's really reflected in the world around us. So that's what I tend to see a lot of with the work that I'm, I'm doing. Yeah, okay. And um, what does it entail? So we are able to gain access to the subconscious mind through muscle testing. And then it's really a case of a certain body posture, which um, I can just, and, and, um, and, certain, and, and just very, it's, it's a very simple way. So we can, when we think, so for example, if we have something that we're challenged with in the past, present or future, we don't feel, often a lot of us don't believe we have any choice in ha to change that. Um, and that until you've probably experienced the process itself. So we can access our subconscious mind through muscle testing. And if there's some challenge in the system, then let's say it's a two or three minute, what we call a psych K balance to create this whole brain state where we can essentially rewire the brain and, 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 and break some of those subconscious programs or patterns that are going on and rewiring it to and support ourselves with you know, positive patterns instead. Mm, excellent. Um, and, and then just to move forward and through those roadblocks that, you know, that happen in all our lives, just to be able to move forward and through them with, with ease, really. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so what sort of things can Site K help with? I know you've mentioned a few things like self-doubt, but what, what other things have you found it's really good with? Oh, uh, panic attacks, anxiety. Um, I mean, I think it's, I think it's really important. Um, it's not a diagnostic tool in any, in new, and I often work in collaboration with a lot of other health professionals and it really is ultimately about change, like changing our beliefs. All right. All mm -hmm. about um, changing our beliefs. But if we have these limiting beliefs, they're often creating a lot of stress, um, in our nervous system. And that, so obviously we can't be healing and thinking with clarity and supporting ourselves very well when we are in a state of stress or anxiety um which i don't know you know similarly you know a lot of us, a lot of us are so to create that whole brain state we can think with clarity 
and and obviously so then when we when we repro where we're able to rewrite some of those limiting programs that then has a really positive effect on our cellular biology as well so yeah. although we don't profess to treat any situations like that um, but but panic panic attacks anxiety um challenging behaviors with ourselves um or kind of relationships with with ourselves and with others um and I guess a lot because I guess with my background, I, even though I, so I'm just trying to think of specific health challenges um, that I've worked with recently. Obviously, I'm still doing some of my chiropractic work at the moment. Um, but a lot of people that are that I've been working with most recently, it's really been about, yeah, challenges of what's really driving us up here. So yeah. uh, particularly right now at the moment. Um, so it's really about people realizing that they want conscious change in there. They're living a conscious life and they know that things have got to change and that that's going to come from inside rather than externally. Um, yeah. So a lot of the people that have been recommended that, um, to me to, to work with them have really, be, it's really been a case of um, just really transforming the way they, they feel about themselves, as I say, with, and, and other kind of situations they find themselves in at the moment. Um, yeah. Really, their work to or finances um, yeah so, so the better I've you feel about things. yourself the better you sorry the better you feel about yourself you sort of transform into that more positive state Absolutely. Um, which is 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 really key in all this i think that that inner positivity as opposed to dwelling on what's wrong or what you are limited by yeah and you can obviously be more present like rather than just being able to, you know, and if we've got things that we're worried about in the future, then it's very difficult to be present in the now. And you know, that is that that is the gift, isn't it? In the in, in the here and the now. Yeah. Um, so a lot of, and again, I've worked with a lot, couple of people with um, skin challenges as well. Um, a lot of it boiling down to being, you know, you know, comfortable in their own skin. Yeah. Um, you know, and conscious that loves a metaphor. <laughs> and that was, their, that was their own that was their own insights that came to yeah. them after doing the balances for themselves. Often that happens, um, mm. and so yeah, no, that's quite interesting. And then a lot of I do a little bit of work with um, families as well. Anxiety issues with children with with respect to sleep and school and and teenagers just it, this it, it's really simple and really you know just it's a really simple process for them to experience and, and very empowering because they're feeling that change for themselves. Um, yeah. And I think for them to, be, to, 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 to do the balance themselves and to feel that shift is really, and to know that they can create that change yeah. is really empowering at that age. I wish I had that opportunity. <laughs> you and me both, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> Curses. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was obviously clearly part of my journey, but you know, but yeah, that would be nice. But yeah, so it's 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 interesting, and I love being able to work with children as well, and and families to look at those different family dynamics. Like you know, um, I don't know whether you've heard of Sarah Farron, another a, a chiropractor. You know, looking at those dynamics in families, if you know, if we're suppressing something, often who we're most close to in the family will be ex perhaps expressing that as a symptom in another way, mm. or even just even with ourselves if we're pressing something then it's going to be expressed elsewhere so it's interesting looking at that and it's a really lovely story I don't know whether you'd like me to share it with you it was um, Absolutely. a mum um, and toddler over in France and um, she reached out for some help because her daughter who was she was trying to do some potty training with mm -hmm. and she had this um, rash down her back so down her mid back for no apparent reason she had a clean diet um, and it had come on over the last couple of weeks, although she'd noticed that she'd been scratching for a while. So again, this site like, hey, gives these um, protocols where we can look into what might be creating that situational condition um, for her daughter. So the message that came, came up was, I trust myself. So in site K as well, if it's safe and appropriate, we can surrogate for people. So I I was able to do the balance on her daughter's behalf first. So I did, did that balance on her behalf. And then I jumped on the phone and was chatting to her like we are now. And, and I told her about the message. And I said, it's also coming up for you. Is there any, you know, do, do you know when 
this, this, this situation started and and she said and I said this this is the message you know does it what does it mean and she went oh. and there was this like I know exactly what you're talking about and it's actually when she noticed her daughter scratching and she said you know for the last couple of months we've been agonizing about where we're going to live and I don't trust myself with trying to make that decision and I was like wow and she said yeah so we did a balance around that for her and mm -hmm. while she was doing that balance she gained some insights and realized also that it had been a very heated topic of conversation between her and her husband anyway mm -hmm. she then did a balance around being able to um, identify and accept his um, thoughts around this situation as well um, and so that's trans so the outcome of all of that was a it transformed their relationship they sit after those balances she was able to go ahead and make those decisions and have the conversation really freely with her husband which she couldn't before and her daughter's rash on her back cleared up within within days and it, 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 just, it just went and she said and she said that's really weird when did you do the balance with my daughter and i said well just before i came on the phone and we talked with you she said because she, we've been having challenges with, with, with potty training and she literally went and she hadn't, she hadn't done whatever she needed to do where she needed to do it and that was the first time she sat on the potty and, and, and she never looked back from that moment about oh, that's fascinating. On, that, on that level. Yeah. So anyway, I hope that was, that was ended up yeah. being a long story but hopefully you can see how some, some of those things can fit together. Yeah, so I, I love all this. I think it's fascinating. And coincidentally, just before we jumped on this call, but um, Louise and I did a balance on me. And uh, it was the most surreal feeling. It was, it was really nice. And it was kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a waterfall is the only way I can describe it. Mm -hmm. of like peace. Um, it was, yeah, it's really good. So I definitely, yeah, definitely recommend it. That was just a very short amount of time. Well, thank um, you for the opportunity. And, um, yeah, it was great to be able to offer, 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 offer that to you. And, it, and like you say, it's, and I'm sure, again, you hear back from clients as well, we don't necessarily realise there's a choice in how we can feel until the other side of tapping or a balance, yeah. and we don't realise that there is that opportunity to feel so differently. Yes, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's fascinating, fascinating. So you've told us a little bit of a story with regards yeah. to um, a, a kind of success that you've had. What other successes have you seen, Louise? Are you able to share any with us? Yeah, um, um yeah. Being, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> massive success. <laughs> so I just well actually I just there's a there's a beautiful again, just a really a lovely little story. I've been doing some um supporting, just offering some mini sessions um at the moment, and there was a a um a small businessman that contacted me in a local market town and reached out to me because he was feeling very challenged financially and really worrying about finances particularly at the moment but he this has been an ongoing thing for him in his life and so we um did a balance together so transforming the perception of distress that's going on for him to feel at peace and acceptance with that instead and so he got into his, this, the position and was doing the balance which took a couple of minutes and he came out of this and he had this beautiful smile on his face and um and then we went to check whether he could actually access any of that that what those worries or concerns that he had before the balance and he was just like he he literally had these tears of joy and it was so profound and then literally just as he was like i just i just can't get there he was speechless i was speechless and literally as we were and he and we had this ping on the phone and he had this he had this big big order literally come in at at that moment of realization um oh, I love that. I love that. So that was really beautiful and messaged me afterwards to say again again a bit like we we're saying you know he realized he was able to change something and since that session hasn't been able to access any of the, that anxiety that he's experienced for years and he thought he was always going to have to live with that yeah. um, and be able to transform something in such a short space of time. Yes, things don't always happen like that, for sure. Um, but, you know, that he just simply thought he, that he didn't believe he could change in his life. So yeah. that, that was really beautiful. 
Yeah. And that's a great example of what can happen as soon as you take that block out of the way. As soon as you oh. take the block out of the equation, the thing that you've been wanting and needing suddenly just appears. Yeah. As if by magic. And, love yeah, that. and it's lovely. I was working uh, with a lovely lady recently who's really looking at changing careers, but again, the confidence um, to do so um, in her abilities and to ha you know, feeling really you know, self-assured to, to do what she wants to do. And we had a beautiful session together. Again, just laughter and joy and uh, with, with lots of realizations. And, and she just, and, and again, a lovely message. She goes, I don't know what happened. A, how much she enjoyed the session, but since. But she goes, I've just been inundated with all, you know, all these offers and opportunities. And, and I just think, and I'm just so, you know, so excited for her because it's like, you know, so deserve it. She was really open and curious and really wanted to do the, the work for herself and to make those changes and is getting, and, and um, yeah, you say, we're all energetic beings and just yeah. by shifting that, it's huge, yeah. huge. And for all of us, you know, it's, um, and we are all connected. So yeah, it was beautiful to be able to support her oh, to, be able to create that change for herself. But, yeah, yeah, fantastic. That's brilliant. I love that. So Louise, what are the your, what are your plans for the rest of the year? What's going on in the world of Louise until the end of 2020? Um, well, a uh, big move forward for me tech, with technology. I'm finding I have a website. So I've been oh. making my life easy. <laughs> but it's a website. And, um, and I guess I've, I've loved this time to have the opportunity to connect with people further afield. And say the Middle East and the States. So just just to really continue being able to facilitate and support more people really um, yeah. that really want to make create that conscious you know change for themselves. Fantastic. So no more than that really, just to be able to so, do more of what I love to help them do more of what they love. The win win. <laughs> the win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you mentioned that your website is now up, which segues me neatly into, uh, you know, how can people find out a bit more about you? Where can they go? Um, I am on Facebook and no Instagram yet. LouiseSaunders.com. So Louise forward slash Saunders.com. Yeah. Lovely. Fantastic. And I will put links to all that in the comments anyway, so people can go there directly. Um, okay. So... This has been lovely, Louise. I love chatting with you. Um, before we, we wrap it up, um, is there sort of any kind of top tip you can give for any stress relief that people can yeah. use? Yeah, no, absolutely. So um, again, this is something that I give my clients, particularly the teenage ones that were doing exams, just to be able to, it's a great um, technique to be able to use. Obviously we can use our breath to calm our central nervous system down, but this is like a little bit of a ner nervous system hack as well. And it just simply involves crossing our ankles. It doesn't matter which way. Um, and because it isn't a balance, we're not creating long-term change. Mm -hmm. But in, whilst we're in that position, we can, and if, maybe if we went in with a question in mind or we're wanting to make a decision, I know in under stress, it's never a good time to make a decision, but if we have to make a stress decision, like a, a snap decision, then just to be able to, again, Hope, can you see my arms okay, Claire? Yeah, yeah, my hands. So one arm over one hand and then palms together like so, linking. And then yeah. you can either let, rest them like that or just, yeah, bring it in or just bring it in like that. So mm -hmm. ankles cross, cross like this and just be able to close your eyes and breathe. And this again allows our left and right brain to communicate really, really clearly and effectively. And this is I love this. Oh, sorry, Claire. Sorry, I, I, sorry, I love this because it makes my mind go blank. And it's like all the little voices uh, giving the various reasons why I should or shouldn't do something. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And, and, and it's interesting that that's what you experience. And again, it will probably be quite unique for whoever's, because again, some people just feel like that real calm or that real clarity. So again, that's interesting for you. And that was similar in your balance, wasn't it? It was just yes, everything yeah. was very clear. 
Mm, yeah. So could this yeah, be a good a good that. trick for for someone who is having trouble sleeping? Could this be a little yes. trick they use? This is this is, this is well, yes, good one. So it's it's one that I often do in the middle of the night if I'm feeling challenged. So yeah, although that can be, that, yeah, it's it can be a really comfortable position to be able to just drift back off to sleep. Um, yeah. yeah. So with sleep, I say yeah, and or reading exam, but you know, having to take in information read a question and be able to act on that or being able to make you know having to make a decision when perhaps one wouldn't choose to but need to um, yeah. yeah i love that that's brilliant thank you very much oh louise well, it's been it's called a link up. so yeah so it's not a balance but it's a, it's this is called a link up so yeah so yeah yeah so ankles crossed either yeah. like that or like yeah. that yeah yeah brilliant absolutely wonderful oh louise it's been an absolute pleasure as always oh. chatting with you um louise and i do know each other anyway we um got to the chiropractic world but also we've been in a few of the the retreats together um and so we were actually at uh, the revival retreat last was it last september yeah um when louise was doing a bit about psych Kate, which is when i first found out about it i just thought it was absolutely fascinating fascinating so louise thank you so much for sharing a bit more of your story um i very much recommend if people want to try psych k just get in contact with louise i'm sure she'll give you more information um you know sort something out but it's it's i think it's something that everyone needs to experience <laughs> it's really good lovely working and it's so lovely to see you again today thank you yes you too well, have a wonderful rest of the day and look after yourself speak soon